Good evening everyone. My name is Pradyumna and in this video I'll explain about GPS architecture. I know in BTEC examinations we need to fill papers as well as content. So I'll try to write as many points as possible. Let's get started. GPS architecture is a big topic. So I'll divide this video into two parts. This is part one. GPS architecture consists of space segment, control segment and user segment. The space vehicles and orbits come under space segment. The monitoring stations come under control segment and the receiver comes under user segment. The space segment consists of pre-designed orbits around the earth and a constellation of satellites. As you can see, these are the satellites and this is the orbit. In GPS architecture, there are six orbits and 24 satellites. The second point, orbits and satellite constellation have been designed in such a way that a user anywhere on earth under an open sky does receive signals from at least four satellites at, a, at any time. That means there should be at least four satellites to give the accurate location of the receiver. You can take a screenshot. I'll erase the board and move to the third point. The space segment consists of GPS orbits and constellation of satellites. So I'll talk about GPS orbits in the third point and in the fourth point I'll tell about the constellation of satellites. Suppose this is the surface of the earth and this is the radius. Sorry, this is the uh, orbit. The distance, I mean the radius from of each orbit is 20,200 kilometers from the surface of the earth. Nominally circular in shape, the orbits are circular in shape, arranged in six equally spaced orbits. In the first point, I told that in GPS system, there are six orbits with 24 satellites. So these six orbits are equally spaced. Coming to the next point, orbital planes are inclined at an angle of 55 degrees with equatorial plane. Suppose this is the equator, these are the orbits at 55 degrees and these orbits have a ground, stationary ground tracks which receive the signal. Let us talk about satellite constellation. At least four satellite vehicles or space vehicles in each orbit. Orbital period is 12 sidereal hours. 12 sidereal hours means this is different from solar day. It is 4 minutes fast than the solar day receives information from control stations or you can also call control segment where we also have monitoring stations and this broadcasts one way ranging signals one way ranging signals which is L band
नेक्स्ट कम्स कंट्रोल सेगमेंट इन दिस कंट्रोल सेगमेंट देर आर टू मास्टर कंट्रोल स्टेशन इन दिस वन इज अ स्टैंड बाय मास्टर कंट्रोल स्टेशन एंड देर आर सिक्सटीन मॉनिटरिंग स्टेशन एंड ट्वेल्व ग्राउंड एंटीनास you can draw them over here this is an antenna you can draw a monitoring station over here and a master control station i'll explain briefly about these three topics in the next video as well as user segment That's it for today guys see you all tomorrow in the next video thank you